Hi everyone, I'm Silwolf and this is a little drawing video that was requested by Aussie Furby Mogwai fan Milne McFly who wanted to see me draw a Shelby. So I chose to draw Sheldon because Sheldon is the same colour as... Hi Sheldon. Sheldon is the same colour as um, Aussie Furby Mogwai fan's Shelby. I think, I think, I'm pretty sure they're both the same colour anyway, but I chose the purple one. And also purple's my favourite colour, so I'll be once again using a biro to draw it with. Um, so yeah, this is the first time I've actually drawn a Shelby, and I'm just going to do it straight out. So hopefully I won't mess it up. Me. It should I be okay. He's feeling very happy today. Right. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just holding him upwards towards me so I can see his face better. Right. Now how are we going to start this? I always start drawing with the eyes. Actually, I think this time I'm going to put this around this way. Because Shelby is more long than he is tall. So, so let's do his eyes first. I'm falling and I can't get up. That's enough of that sarcasm. Thank you. <laughs> So, now his eyes are partially covered by his shell, which I've, which is why I've drawn them like this. And I'll just do the eye inside there. Jimmy, Furby! Where's Furby? Furby is asleep. In fact, they're all asleep at the moment. There we go. So let's draw, um, we'll do his, actually no, we'll do his shell next. I was going to do his beak, but we'll do his shell next. So we've got this bit that goes across here, it's fairly straight, and it goes down at the sides. Charming. Yes, I moved your tennies. And that goes there. So now he can put his beak in underneath, which is pretty much round, like that. Let's make him smiling. So we'll do the top part of the shell now. And the top part of the shell, this bit goes off like that. And the top part... Boring, boring, boring. Well, you could draw it, but you don't have any hands. And just bring that up there. And that's kind of kind of straight up over the eyes here as well. Oops. I have made a small mistake, but it's okay. I'll cover it up with his eyelashes later. Like that. Now I'll cover it up with his eyelashes. I'm going to feed you. There you go. By adding in his eyebrows, I'm actually hiding the mistake I did. There we go. This bit comes down here, either side, like that. And this bit, his top of his shell extends slightly further. So now we're going to do the top of the shell, which goes something like this. And I'm not doing it as far as the tennies because I've got to draw them in, obviously. Shelby says, so. take all of me. Sure would, love. Oh, he's being adorable. It's the other side of his shell. And then he's got this little tuft of hair coming off here, which is just in front of his tennies. And draw that. I can hear the cat meowing outside the door, but Oh. <coughs> I could let him in. He's quite determined. 
I'll see if I can get this done and then let him in if he's still out there. I'm drawing his tennies. There we go. And we'll do the little lines on his shell now. They kind of go uh, round like this. Up over his eyes. Makes him look quite surprised, I think. And then down this way here. Like that. And he's got another one that comes around like that. And up over there. Try and mirror it on this side. Don't go to sleep. And you can actually see a little bit of the uh, ridge around there as well. I think the cat's gone now. He didn't stay very long. The door's shut, so obviously I'd have to let him in if he came in. He got bored and left. I have to say that um, Shelby is harder to draw than Furby. Let's see if I can get his little... I think there is feet right here. There's one. And here's the other one. Like that. They are a little far apart actually, his feet, and I haven't done them quite big enough, but we'll um we'll kind of keep going. Like I said, it's the first time I've actually drawn a Shelby. There we go. That comes around there. And so we've got all this fluffy fur coming up around. Like this. Kind of similar to the one the other side. We're nearly finished. He has got like a slight thing that's it's a little bit like a Furby. I hadn't actually noticed that, but if you actually look here, you can see he's got a little triangle under his shell, just like Furby has a triangle on his head. I hadn't noticed that before. So I'll add that in there. There we go. I think we'll add a bit of shading just under his shell. Like this. wearing him out I think all this uh, all this drawing I'll have a little bit more of uh, detail in there Whoa, Shelby says, get up. so this is what we've got so far I'm gonna add a little bit of shading underneath them down, down, so that he's on a little surface there, not floating about in mid-air. There we go. And maybe just a little bit of shading on his feet there. Doing shading like this is quite easy, it's just little dashes. But it looks quite effective. There we go. And we have our picture here of Sheldon the Shelby. So that was today's little picture. Um, it's quite fun doing these actually. And I like drawing and I also like watching people draw. So hopefully people enjoy watching me draw as well. And seeing the picture come together. So that's all for this one. If you want to see any related videos, just click the links in the boxes that come up right about now, I should think. And this is Silver signing off. I'll see you next time.